this is my second video about the Roland SPDSX. My first video was about how to integrate the SPDSX into a Roland TD30 drum kit, and this video is going to be about how to record the SPDSX with the TD30 drum kit using either all audio or all MIDI or any combination of audio and MIDI. You can choose whatever method you want depending on how you want to be able to edit it in your computer software. To record audio, connect a quarter inch stereo patch cable from the phones out of the SPDSX into the mix in of the TD30. And then another stereo patch cable from the master out of the TD30 into your audio interface or mixer. By doing this, you're gonna hear the sounds of the SPD-SX and the sounds of the TD30 going to one audio track in your editing software on your computer. I'm using Logic, so it looks like this for me. Now, one obvious downside to that is that you have everything on one track in your editing software so you can't edit the sounds of the SPDSX separately from the sounds of the TD30 meaning you can increase these sounds in the mixing on your computer and without increasing these sounds as well. Uh, there's an easy solution for that but you need an audio interface with at least two inputs. So to do that just connect the stereo patch cable from the phones out of the SPDSX directly into input number one or two of the interface and then connect the patch cable from the master out of the TD30 directly into the same interface or mixer but in a different input. That way when you connect it to your computer you can set up two separate tracks and have two separate recordings for the SPD-SX and the TD30. It'll look like this. Okay, so what you just saw was recording audio in the setup. That first method was sending the audio signal from the SPDSX to the TD30 to the interface to your computer. And the second method was sending two different audio signals, one from the SPDSX and one from the TD30, both going to separate inputs on the interface and then going to your computer to create two different tracks. To record entirely in MIDI, you have to connect a MIDI cable from the MIDI out of the SPDSX into the MIDI in of the TD30, and then connect a USB type B into the computer out of the TD30, and connect the other end of that, a USB type A, into your computer. Once you've set that up, you'll be able to play the entire kit and the SPDSX and on your computer you'll see notes for every single pad here which you can then convert to any sound you want on your computer. I'll show you an example of me playing and then we'll show you what it looks like on the computer. You'll have to download the appropriate drivers and plugins so that you can not only support MIDI in your computer, but also assign sounds to those specific notes. So for example, I'm just gonna assign some ridiculous bass sound to these notes. It doesn't even have to be a drum set, it can be anything. So I'll just click one of these bass sounds and you'll see that now the pads that I hit on the kit have turned into these notes, which are now the sound of this bass. get pretty interesting when you're working with MIDI. Obviously that was just a stupid quick example, but there's a lot of creative stuff you can do there. It doesn't have to be either all audio or all MIDI. You can mix those types of recordings between the two devices depending on what you want. So a common one is an audio signal from the Roland TD30 so that you can hear the sounds of the kit as they are within the module and then a MIDI signal coming from the SPDSX so that you can further edit that later in your computer editing software. 
So just apply the principles that I told you between the two devices. Let's say you want audio signal here, but MIDI signal here. You would just have to drop the MIDI cable between the SPD, SPDSX and the TD30 so that no MIDI signal is coming from here to here. And then connect the USB type B into the SPDSX. That way you have the MIDI signal ready to go out of this and you have to reconnect or just connect the stereo patch cable into the TD30. With this setup you would have an audio track coming from the TD30 and then a separate MIDI track coming from the SPDSX. Again, you would need to install the drivers and plugins for the SPD-SX so that you can support the MIDI and change the notes. If you want to know how to actually set these tracks up and configure the inputs and the USBs within Logic, check out my other videos. This video is just a general overview of how to record the different types of recordings you can do, but I don't want to get into the details of how to actually set these things up within Logic. It's not really a Logic tutorial, but I have different tutorials specifically for Logic and how to set up either MIDI or audio, so go check those out if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have fun.